Welcome back everybody, it's time to lock down some Naya Slivers and we've got a quick deck update really quick after researching a little bit more and looking at the person that just placed uh, top in an MTGO Popper tournament I believe like two weeks ago at this point now or a week and a half ago uh, I went off of his list for suggestions on the Thriving Groves and Thriving Heaths, things like that, and the Mana Base and also a couple other additions he had in the deck as well. So, really quickly we took out two of our hunters, we added in one Heart Sliver for giving our creatures haste and one of our Strikings back in for First Strike. Uh, we removed three of the Ash Barons now that we've got the Thrivings. We don't need as much fixing as we've already got a ton now. Uh, so we took out three of them, we just have one in to fetch for our one mountain if needed. Then we've got our three uh, Thriving Lands here, the two Thriving Groves and the one Thriving Heath. Uh, other than that, everything else is the same, sideboard's the same and everything, so let's see how it runs and find ourselves a match. Alright, we got ourselves a match up against Game Boy here, and we did win the die roll, so let's see what kind of a hand we can get. Not a very good one, unfortunately, so we're gonna mulligan this. And wow, that's fantastic, okay. Uh, alright, well, <laughs> that's, that's how it goes. Alright, well, we're gonna keep. We're going to get rid of Ash Barons, and we'll get rid of our Forest, and we'll say done, and we'll hope for the best on the play here. We're going to do red. We'll just make sure everything's right, just in case our gem hides die for some reason, and then we'll pass. Oh, pass. There we go. Had the wrong key up. And we're playing against some blue. All right. Well, this will be interesting. All right, we, we're getting stuff. We're getting stuff. Maybe we'll be able to come back from this. We're just going to put down what we can put down here. I want to set up for bigger turns with the gem hide, so I'm going to put him down first. Because uh, if we can get some early plays getting some lords down here, potentially next turn, if they tap out, we draw land. We can put down two lords, be in really good shape. So I'm just setting up for that. Another Delver. And they did get a flip. Mm, not good. Not good. There we go. Ooh, and we get our land. So this is great. So let's put down our two lords. And just be set up to race a little bit here. Perfect, perfect. Pass. See what happens. If, uh, hopefully they don't flip their other Delver. That would be an issue. Oh, and this is Scred. Okay, okay. It's a little scary. Wait, no, they're not playing with Snowland, so this is just some kind of is it, is it nonsense. Yep. Kill my creature, hold up counterspell, swing for four, swing for three, all right. Another gem hide. <laughs> okay, well, let's put it down. Wanna counter it? No, all right. We will undo that. Get down another gem hide. Just getting a board going. Hopefully they don't have a snap. Takes the two. Get a flip, which isn't pretty. Swing for six, we go to eight. And if they kill our lord, we're just crap out of luck here. Winding ways, pretty nice, but let's go to attacks first. 
Yeah, because if they want to play so I don't want this getting countered, so maybe they'll make a play here during combat. Yeah, just doing what we can. Uh, all right. Yeah. There's the counter. I had to go for it. Uh, it's not looking pretty, though. It returns the mountain to their hand. They're going to replay it. They got three cards in hand. They're swinging for six. So they may just look for like a lightning bolt here just to finish me off because they swing for six, hit me with a lightning. Probably be the best bet. We did mold the what? Four? Something crazy like that? So it is what it is. They're just going to kill my creature. That makes sense too. So we can draw. Uh, that's not going to help us here. Alright, we will go to game two. Let's bring in our pyros. Let's bring in our spinnerets. Doesn't look like we need a relic. Um, I think because we have the pyros, we don't necessarily need swift response. Because the pyros can kill the delvers and things like that. Do I want to cut anything else? Oh, we need to cut a few things. We'll cut a winding way. We cut our one of our sentinels for one of our spinnerets. The sidewinder isn't super relevant. Yeah, we can get rid of one sidewinder. Uh, let's try it like that. Yeah. I will play first again. Give me a good keep. Uh, I mean, we'll keep it, but it's not, like, the world's best here. We just need to make sure our creatures land. If our creatures can land, then we might be in decent shape, but we'll see how that goes. A Thriving Heath. Uh, I'm not going to play that yet. I'm just going to play... So I can play Gem Hide. Then try to go for Sentinel and a Striking next turn. Or I could just play Sentinel. Yeah, we'll just, we'll just play the Sentinel. Play a Sentinel, try to get down to Gem Hide, then we can swing with Sentinel and then tap and get down a Lord. Hopefully. They gotta tap out. One more turn here. That's not pleasant to see. That's nice, though. Okay. Let's go to attacks. See if they want to kill our sentinel. Nope. Alright. That's fine. Uh, then we will just go ahead and play a Sinew and pass. It'll probably die. Or they'll just counter. Or they're going to Electricry. That. Sure. Sure. That's fine. We've got a Thriving Heath anyways. So our mana's doing just fine. Yeah, that's annoying. Uh, 
Now they're tapping out though, so we can at least go thriving into a lord and maybe a one drop. Lead the stampede. Hit red on this. Let's attack first. I'm thinking I just want to get the lead the stampede uh, through while we can. I think that's our best bet. Oh yeah. Now we have a nice refill going. We can pass with confidence. Even if they start holding up some counters. Still got some good stuff coming. I think if uh, we're holding up Counterspell, we might probably try to play the Gem Hide. And then just try to play out a bunch of like smaller creatures. Like that. The counter. Yeah, I like this. Let's do Gem Hide. They're not countering. So I can try to put down a Lord. No counter. That's interesting. Let's swing with the Sentinel. And I guess we'll just go put down another Lord. Sure, let's try it. Okay, it just goes through like it's no big deal. Uh, that's not good for them. Brainstorm, enter the revealed area. They're going to brainstorm, try to find some removal or something. Flame Slash, yep. Mystic Sanctuary getting back. What? Flame Slash, alright. Makes sense. Very Miscreant. Alright. Two cards in hand. Oh, we get another muscle. That's pretty nice. Um, yeah, so we're just gonna put down some stuff. We got the spell stutter sprite going. Alright, fair enough. But now, I get to wipe their board completely, which feels pretty good. Oh, uh, let's see. run it like this put this down just take out all their guys all right him to him him to him and him to him goodbye to your board and then we'll throw down striking after combat They're going to be able to kill our lord, but they're going to concede anyways. They've seen enough. Uh, let's run it back. Let's run it back. Can't keep the one-landers, unfortunately. We can keep this. But what to get rid of? Maybe the gem hide, since we've got everything else. Ooh, it's rough. Yeah, our mana's going to be right. So, Pyroblast is going to be no problem casting, and I kind of want to keep that. It's risky dropping a gem hide, but I, I think I'm good with that. 
And they got a first play Evolving Wild, so it's not bad either. Just gonna put down the Thriving Heath. Augur, okay. Cool. Think I'm just gonna try to slide in a Plated and a Viverlint. While they're tapped out. Finding Way is pretty good here too. Gonna hang on to that for now. I think I just wanna get down creatures and then we can wait for a third land, hold up Pyroblast and then Winding Way if we need to. Pass. There's the mountain. All right. Passing with the counter spell. Lightning strike backup. Lightning bolt backup. Maybe? Or are you gonna play something? All right, he's gonna play something. Fork bolts. That's lovely. Uh, all right. Can't do nothing about it. We get a predatory that we can't really get down safely here. Let's just try to put down Sentinel. Probably counter it. Hmm, no counter. I just need a third land so I can counter a crucial spell. Straight passing. All right. We're getting Ash Barons. Could just play it outright. I think I'm gonna. I think getting Winding Way through is more important here. So we're gonna Winding Way. Pyroblast, the counter spell. Get a refill. Give us a good refill. Okay. Yeah. It's a good refill. I like it. Uh, we're just going to pass. We don't have a good attack, unfortunately. They're going to brainstorm. That might be good for us. Especially if they're, like, looking for another mana source to uh, continue to hold up. Alright, they found it. They're fine. They're setting up their turns. They're holding up the counter spell. Land here is pretty nice. I like that a lot. So no matter what, we can get down a lord. Seems reasonable to me. Just going to attack with my Sentinel, just in case they are holding up a kill spell. I don't want to just give them a free block on Viverlint. Yep, they were. Fair enough.
Motherland. And passing. Another green source would be nice here. Lead the stampede, huh? Can't play that how I want to. I think I'll try to get down a hunter. And then if they counter, we can get down a lord. They're just going to let that resolve. All right. Let's see if a lord can come down. It does. That's pretty nice. Still only going to attack with the sentinel here. And here comes something, an echoing truth. All right. Fair enough. Well, I'm going to say no, and they can feel free to block if they want, which they probably will. They didn't? Oh, they didn't block. <laughs> nice. <laughs> All right, they got uh, two cards drawing a third. Oh, they got spell stutter for nothing. Ooh, all right. Maybe they have another one in hand. They want to get set up with it. That could be what they're doing. So two cards in hand. Attacking with the spell stutter. Sure. Uh, what do you got, a ninja? They got a ninja. Ninjutsu. But this is pretty good. Now they're tapped out. Oh, this is this guy. It deals damage. Create a 1-1 one, one blue illusion token. Okay. All right. All right. They didn't want to see it anymore. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's see. Next turn, we could drop a Lord, drop a Plated, or just lead the Stampede, get caught up a little bit. But I think we would have just dropped the Lord, dropped a Plated, swung in, uh, and then their board is wiped. I can't do a lot about it. Uh, and then they have only two cards left in hand. Yeah, I think that game was a wrap. So hopefully you guys enjoyed that one. If you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe for more Popper Slivers. And stay tuned. We're going to have uh, another one coming up at the end of the week. Uh, this week's kind of screwy. I don't know how it's going to go yet. So <laughs> stay tuned and subscribe. We'll see you guys in the next video.